Hi, comic book fans, and welcome to uh, SundayComics.com. It is a Monday night. It is the price variance. And as usual, we've got our favourite Canadian here. It's Alan, uh, comic collector geek, who is now selling merchandise. So <laughs> if, you, if you want a baseball cap with Alan on it, uh, head over to his merch store and you can buy that. What else have you got, Alan? Have you got, have you got mugs? I got mugs. I got uh, hoodies. I got T-shirts, long sleeve, pants. Wow. So, yeah, it's like everything I, you could ever imagine. You need to wear some of your merch next week. I, well, I got to order it. So I just Fuck. made this stuff. So I, I have to order it myself. I'm going to order a couple things just to, you know. Okay. I got to find out how that works. Do I get a discount from my own store? <laughs> I don't know how it works. So, yeah, we'll find out. Uh, probably it's who you know uh right so uh we are going to be talking about the hottest silver age sales from heritage last week as curated by alan who completely failed to pick the three comics that i uh purchased <laughs> that you bought heritage. however we won't hold that against him and um we're going to go into sharing the screen uh, and pick our first comic it's not that one uh it is that one. Which is a great one. It is a great. I love this cover. This is, uh, if I'm, tell me if I'm wrong, Alan, but I think this mm -hmm. is the first John Romita on uh, Amazing you would, be, you would be right. And it's a very cool, you know, good entrance, right? Well, you know, if you're going to, if you're going to make your first comic appearance in terms of art, this is the way to do it. Yeah. So what happened is, um, I think the story is that Stan Lee poached Ramita and had him working on it was he was working on he started him off on um was it Iron Man? Uh and then and he was warming him up to take over from Ditko on Amazing Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. Um so this isn't his first work at Marvel, uh, but it is his first work on uh, first Spider Man, yeah. I mean, it's a really cool cover. I mean, just the like the way the Green Goblin is there. It just he looks so devious, and that's yeah, yeah. It's a great cover. It's one of my favorite Amazing Spider-Man covers, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So what grade was this? This is a nine oh. Nine oh nine oh. Um, I'm surprised that's not more money at a nine oh. But anyway, I always think comics a bit undervalued. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those ones where I don't know. I it, it it went up a lot during the comic boom, and that that could be you know, kind of work against comics nowadays. You right. know, when if let's, it, have let's have a look, see if the market. Oh dear, yeah, it's not great. See what I'm saying? Like you see how the there's that <laughs> vertical spike during the comic boom, and then. Oh goodness me! That's a uh, three thousand two hundred down to one three. That's uh, lost sixty percent of its value. But if you look at the overall, it's actually above the yeah, pre-COVID price. It is still above the pre-COVID, but it has it finished dropping, Alan? May oh, I think it's actually it's kind of on the floor and actually coming up even bouncing a little bit off that floor. Maybe, maybe there's some signs it's stabilized there. Yeah. So I, you know, I think that's a reasonable price for this book. I mean, it's a cool book. <laughs> like, and this is high grade. Um, how many on the census? I should imagine there's a fair few. I was like to asking that. Yeah, four thousand. Yeah, yeah. But so it has a really high <laughs> census count. Um, but yeah, just a really great book. Yeah, agreed. agreed. So, yeah. I can't see that dropping a lot more for a nine o. For less than a thousand, yeah. I can't see that dropping anymore. Right, next up, uh, oh, there's a nice one. We've got a DC, um, Brave and, and the this is issue 54. It's the first, uh, Teen Titans, first Teen Titans, yeah. So, um, it's not the full team, I think. The, I think it's the next issue where they get like the, the full team, right. Yeah, who's missing? So we've got Flash. I think Wonder Girl is missing. Yeah, Wonder Girl, yes. Yeah. You got K 
Kid Flash, Robin, and Aqua Aqualad. Aqualad. Yeah. Uh, and some strange guy floating around. Isn't that the Windmaster or something like that? Or Weather Master? Weather Master? Something like that. What tell us in the title? No. Yeah, okay. So how did this do? Let's have a look. I've got this ungraded. Um boo, boo, boo. this sold for three, two, four, yeah. nine, two. Yeah. yeah. So you know, re seems like a reasonable price. I always you know feel like DC books are always undervalued. So <laughs> um this seems in that undervalued, right? Flat. Yeah, this. it had to be a spike way back when. Probably when the Titans show came out, right? Yeah, 2019. That sounds about right. Uh, but it's sort of stuck up there, hasn't it? It hasn't fallen back down here. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to see the COVID spikes on these DC books as much. But um, okay. yeah, right? it's still, I mean, it's still actually above whatever the trend line was like back uh, that first spike. I think that first spike is the announcement of the Teen Titans show. Back to your right, and uh, we got 1,500 copies, so it's relatively scarce. relatively rare, yeah, yeah. And well, a nine two that's a pretty high grade. I'm, I'm not sure like how many nine twos there would be. I don't think there'll be a lot of them. Hang on, let's have a look. Uh, there's only uh, 37, 37, and then there's yeah, a few grades above it, like uh, 31. Nine fours and then eleven and then two. Nine eights, none of which have ever sold. Yeah, somebody's just holding on to those books, waiting for the next Titan show. Um, a lot, a lot of price escalation here, Alan. Three thousand three hundred to eighteen thousand five hundred at nine four. Yeah, that's that's pretty big jump. Usually, it's a double. You know, you get doubling effect. And then that does nearly double up to the nine six. Um, but why the difference between nine two and nine four? That's like pretty crazy. Thing. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So would this be like a hundred thousand dollar book in a nine eight? Well, the one's never sold. I suspect it is, isn't it? You'd or sixty seventy thousand. Yeah. 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 That's <laughs> that's pretty expensive. Okay. Wow. I wouldn't have thought it'd be that big of a book in a way, but it is a key book, and if one yeah. of the came up you know there's only two of them they're not they you know the ones never sold before so i suspect you're mm -hmm. right i think it would hit 70 plus yeah wow that's a okay. that's a strong strong sale okay um okay so this is one of the fantastic four that you didn't buy yes i don't know why you, you didn't, didn't buy, buy this it. one it's a great yeah, i haven't got six thousand dollars in my heritage account yeah, so this is Fantastic Four. What what issue number is it again? 35, is it? 39. 39. 39. Right. Just a great Doctor Doom cover. It is. It's got Daredevil on it as well, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah, really the, great cover. The blind shall lead them. A blind man shall lead them. So that's probably this is the first crossover with um, uh, Daredevil. Like into Fantastic Four, I'd say. I don't know. That, that, no, probably not. Then <laughs> I'm just making things up. <laughs> uh, but, nice though, Wally Wood. Yeah. Some, just a really. I think I just like the way Doctor Doom is there. Uh, you know, I like when they make the villains bad, uh, big and bad like that. Kind of like yeah. crushing the city and yeah. So that's, I don't know. I think that's a really cool one. Let's see how this did. So that is a classic. $6,000. $6,000. For 9.6, though, it's, a, it's it's probably one of the highest graded copies, if not the highest. And it's up, Alan. Uh, we've got a record. We have hit a record. A record for a Marvel book is a big deal. <laughs> it is. Uh, and it is a proper record. It's not up slightly. Um, last sale... Um, April 21, so that was in COVID. So during the COVID, that's actually, so this is above the COVID potential bump. 
Actually, up over the COVID sale, six thousand. Wow, so that's great. And um, how many? Uh, like, like I'd be curious if this is the highest graded copy. Well, it, there is a nine eight. There's there's nine eights. Have a look. It's three nine eights, uh, but one hasn't sold for ten years, nine ten years. Wow. Uh, so, so this is sort of like effectively the highest grade available. The, um, yeah, exactly. There are only three of those nine eights. If that nine eight came up, it'd sell for a lot more than seven thousand dollars now. Yeah, it's probably like a twenty thousand dollar book. Yeah. Wow. So, um, wow, that is really cool. Um, sale there. So, you know, that shows that there is some strength in the market. I mean, that this book, you know, that we can get a Marvel sale. <laughs> that's that's up. I always feel like there's hope when when we see something like this. Well, somebody like this one. Right. Let's move on to the next one. Oh, Alan, it's another Fantastic Four. It's your Fantastic Four week this week. Yeah, it was really, I just saw these really big sales and I was like, oh. That's that's worthy of being on the list. I, I you know I couldn't put all the Fantastic Fours that were there was like a lot of big sales for Fantastic Four this week. Yeah. Um, but I couldn't put them all on. But I wonder if they all came from a single collector. Oh no, wait a minute. This one's got some sort of sticker on it, which means it's from a collection. Um, this is from the Greenwich. We've seen this sticker before. Oh, uh, the Greenwich collection. Okay. Um. Right. So this one is from the Greenwich. Nice. Okay, so yeah, so Fantastic Four number 52, first appearance of the Black Panther, yeah, and a 9 4. <laughs> That's a pretty high grade for Silver Age, right? Let's have a look. I think this is going to be, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think it's going to be down personally because, um, it is down, uh, you know, it's super high grade, right? The last one sold for 16 8 uh, in October. Um, and it's down from that. And this little peak here, were we still in COVID in Feb 22? I think we were, weren't we? Yeah, kind of tail end of any hype of COVID. But that was 27,000 was yeah. its peak price. Wow. So this is down half from its peak. Yeah. And almost back to pre-COVID levels in terms of uh, price. Yeah. Uh, I think I claim you see that there, Mark, it's pre COVID, pre COVID, yeah. So 11,000, yeah. Okay, so it's still, so a, I, yeah. I think what you see is those earlier spikes where it kind of dipped after them is like the first Black Panther movie, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what it would be, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, very interesting. How many, how many on the census of these books? Seven thousand. There's a lot of this one, Alan. Why is there so, so many? That's, yeah, so that it sort of explains why uh, it's um, you know fairly affordable. You know, for considering you know Black Panther is now like I would say because of the 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 success of the movies, uh, he would be considered a tier a tier character. Uh, just because I think uh, Black Panther 1 was one of the biggest grossing movies of all time for Marvel. Yeah, but there were 7,400 of them, Alan. What was that lot yeah. that would do? That only had about 1,500. I know. This is a, like, typically uh, Marvel books have around three to 4,000, right? It's kind of normal, kind of like key book level. I mean, this is like double that. <laughs> So it, it's not is that just because it got so much hype around uh, the movie that everybody sent their copies in probably um i mean i think even low grade copies because even entry level copies were going for quite a bit of money so you know you could get it graded and pretty much you know get make some money off it so yeah it's, it is what it is <laughs> but it's a cool book yeah yeah okay um, and that is it for this week, Alan. Is that it? I think so I thought there was one more. One more. Uh, no. Yeah. That was the last one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Thirteen. Yeah. So I didn't include Spider Man this week. Uh, I was more interested in these Fantastic Four sales because it seemed like there was a bunch of cool Fantastic Fours, 
that you kind of had these like big sales. Uh, so I was kind of more gravitating towards those. And so Spider-Man, uh, Spider-Man number one and AF 15 didn't make the list this week, but I know Mark is really hoping I, I and I don't want to disappoint him. Uh, we'll see what's going to happen next week. <laughs> yeah. I've got a feeling they'll be back. They'll be back with a vengeance. <laughs> It's going to be all Spider-Man, do, 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 all across. Okay. Yeah, I, I, want, I want to see some, um, uh, some some merchandise on you, mate. Oh yeah, I'll well, I'll order some and see what happens. You might it might be a few weeks away. Okay. All right, that's it, guys. That is your lot. See you next week.